Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and I'm so happy to have you on board. This is lesson 2 on NumPy Ofungor and uh, we are going to discuss how to create your own uh, Ofungor universal function. But then uh, guys, uh, before you begin, please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. And uh, to the returning subscribers, uh, thank you very much for your continuous support. Now guys, uh, to create your own uh, universal function or Ofung, you have to define a function just like you do with the normal functions in uh, Python. Then you add it to your NumPy uh, Ofung library with the uh, from PyFunk method. And then uh, this uh, from PyFunk method takes uh, the following arguments. Uh, the first one is a function. Uh, basically this argument uh, is the name of the function. And then uh, the other argument is input, which is the number of the uh, input arguments or arrays. And then uh, the third argument is the output. This is the number of output arrays. Now, guys, uh, let me show you an example, guys, how to create your own uh, Ofung for addition. Now, um, the first thing that you do here is to import a uh, NumPy. So let me say import, uh, import NumPy uh, is an alias uh, NP. And then now uh, we are going to uh, define let's say div let's define my let me let me give it this name my add uh, my add uh, my add function let me give it uh, for example x and then now uh, y and then uh, you close with the columns then uh, let me say return uh, return uh, return what uh, return uh, x for example, x plus y, uh, x plus y, and then uh, here, uh, let me say now, my add, uh, my add, I'm going to assign it to uh, np dot uh, from, uh, from pi, from pi func, uh, sorry, from pi func, I think this is, uh, let, let it be the way it is. Then now, uh, uh, from PyFunk method, then I inside it, we are going to add these uh, arguments here. We are going to add these uh, parameters. The first one is my add. And then uh, also I'm going to say, for example, two. And then, uh, for example, the other one, let me give it, uh, you know, one. And then now uh, uh, to the print function, to the print function, let me say print, uh, print what and then again uh, in this uh, function we can use something like uh, we can use uh, this my add my add basically guys you can use another name provided you have defined uh, this function here and then uh, here i'm gonna say for example um let me create uh alicia and then uh, for example let me say one two three four five uh basically let me reach four and then uh, the other the other one let me say um for example let me say it's five and let me say six seven and then uh, the other one is uh, eight and then uh, guys uh, let me run these codes let me uh, run the codes uh, and so guys uh, basically this is how we can create our own universal function or often for addition now let's discuss how to check if a function is a universal function. Now basically guys, a, a universal function uh, should return uh, these, uh, you know, uh, these uh, values here. It should return this one, a uh, class, a uh, class, and then, uh, uh, and then uh, here it should be numpy, uh, numpy dot uh, ofunk, uh, ofunk, uh, often just like this and then you close it should return something like this if it's a uh, universal function so le let me now show you how to check uh, if uh, you know a function is a is a universal function an example here so for example let me say uh, import uh, let me say import uh, numpy uh, basically uh, numpy numpy is np alias np alias then uh, here let me say for example print uh, print um, then uh, here let me say type let me say type dot 
um, type basically let me say user this np uh, np dot add dot add then uh, let me run the codes and then again uh, basically you can see that it has returned uh, a class and then a numpy dot often basically now this is a you know universal uh, function now guys uh, if it, if it's not a universal function it will return another type like uh, these are building a numpy function for joining two or more arrays and so let me now show you how to check the type of another function uh, with the you know concatenate uh, you know method now what i do here let me just copy this and let me just uh, copy and then uh, to this a new cell let me just paste it here and then uh, here let me remove uh, these uh, you know um instead of add let me use a uh, concatenate concatenate yeah uh, concatenate uh, concatenate then uh, let me uh, run and then again uh, basically you can see that uh, this one is just you know uh, a, a normal uh you know uh, a normal python function and so now uh, let's now discuss how to check uh, if the function is a universal function so uh, basically guys are uh, to test uh, if the function is a universal function uh, in an if statement then uh, we are going to use uh, numpy.ofung value or uh, np.ofung if you use uh, np as an alias for numpy so uh, let me show you this example here and let me show you an, an example first of all we must import the library the module so we are going to import numpy as np alias uh, as np alias and then in this uh, first line of code we are going to say uh, if type uh, if type and then uh, here we are, we are going to add these uh, you know values here uh, np dot add dot add then now uh, let me let me give it this value let me uh, equate to uh, np dot uh, ofung universal function and then uh, here let me close with this as uh, semicolon then uh, let me say print let me say print and then uh, in this a uh, print uh, in our function we are going to add this uh, string here let me say for example uh, add uh, add is uh, is a uh, ofung is ofung then uh, let me say in this uh, other line of code first of all you must remove the indentation and then uh, here let me say else uh, else uh, print uh, else print uh, and then uh, here a string also let me say add is not add is not uh, often add is not often and then now uh, what i do uh, let me run let me run and then i guess uh, basically you can see that uh, add here is a is a universal function so basically guys uh, this is how we can use a uh, if statement to check if the function is a is a is a string is a often or not and uh, basically this is what i wanted to show you in this uh, tutorial and uh, until next time thank you so much